cannot take my eyes off of this girl for more than like three seconds before she's, oh, are you gonna put those in there? Okay, I'm gonna put my makeup down there. What else? The baby's toys. And pacifiers. Yep, those ones aren't for you, those are for the babies. Good morning, you guys. Me and Emma and Bo, wherever he just went, are hanging out in my room this morning. Aw, hi. <laughs> nice because Justin is doing an online zoom class meeting and we're trying to stay out of his way keep quiet oh my gosh you're gonna choke me hi hey can I have a kiss can I have a kiss Ma. oh not them me I want a kiss give mama a kiss mama a kiss <laughs> you're such a fun <laughs> you love it you love the attention <laughs> we just have to keep a little bit quiet what is it a pizza thing? What? <laughs> you have to be quiet because daddy's in school. Okay? Okay? Say yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're hanging out in here where she's getting into mischief because I needed to get ready before the day started. And it was really, I just don't trust her in the living room by herself. So I kind of just lock us all in here, Bo included. He's trying to sneak outside. And we stay in here together while I get ready for the day. And by get ready, I mean like wash my face and put on new clothes and don't do my hair and don't do my makeup. I'm going to see if I can even do anything while dealing with a toddler and trying to get ready. But I just finished washing my face, so that part is done. I have something new that I've added to my routine in the morning because you guys know we're all like locked up and we wanna feel good even though we can't go out is a microderm abrasion. So I only do this one to two times a week and this is the Vanity Planet microderm abrasion wand. I've been loving this for my skincare routine. I don't wear a lot of skin products like concealer or foundation or anything, but I do get normal like breakouts, especially while pregnant and everything. And this thing has been really nice. It's kind of like an at-home facial and it's super easy to use. It guides you through how to use it in like a little four minute routine. So if you have four minutes, you can definitely do this. So the way that it works is you follow the LCD on the screen after choosing like your suction level and everything that you're comfortable with. And this helps reduce acne, it helps reduce fine lines and wrinkles. It just feels really good. It feels like you're getting like an owl facial. It clears away dead skin cells and impurities yeah. that clog your pores. It tells you when to move on to the next yeah. one. <laughs> and it is suitable on all skin types, so anybody can use it. I really like this head that I'm using on mine. This is like the normal head, but it comes with a fine one, a massage one, and one for your body as well. I just finished up, so I've got it on its charging base right here. And then like I mentioned, it comes with the three heads right here, as well as the filters to change after using it, and a brush to make sure you keep it nice and clean. This is a makeup brush that Emma stole, so don't need that. <laughs> if you guys want to check it out, I have an amazing discount code. It's in the description box below at Vanity Planet. Everything that I've used from them, I have loved, and this has been really nice to have during quarantine. All right, let, let, let's let Bobo go first, because he's crazy. You want to close it? It's like her favorite thing right now. <laughs> close the door. Good job. All right, let's go. I can't even like begin to tell you guys how happy I am today just because of how beautiful it is outside. I just put Emma down for a nap and I'm considering just like going in the backyard and sitting in that chair for like 10 minutes just to soak it up because it's such a beautiful day. I know you want to go outside too. Before I do that, and before I get, just got ready actually, because I have a appointment today with my OBGYN. I think I'm supposed to get a steroid shot today, which I'm not looking forward to. I wanted to show you guys the last minute, like things we just picked up for the twins. They came in the mail like within the last couple of days. It's just a few things, but it's like our last, oh my gosh, twin haul of items for the babies until they get here, which is insane. So I'll just show you like a couple of the things. I'm gonna show these three together because they all kind of go together and they're a little bit boring, but we are using our Uppa baby for the twins. Um, that's why we bought it because we knew it could convert to a double stroller. So I needed all the new adapters for it to make it hold two car seats. So I got the Uppa baby upper adapters, the Uppa baby 
lower adapters and the Uppa Baby conversion kit for the Maxi Cozy car seat, which is the car seat that we have. Because we have one of these already, but we're gonna have two, so we needed another set of the new car seat. So that stuff's kind of boring, but we needed it. This is a new camera because we have the Vava Baby monitor. I'm obsessed with it. It's the best baby monitor that I've ever used. I love it so much. We actually worked with them a couple months ago and I'm still like absolutely in love with it. I think it's the best baby monitor, honestly. Um, but we needed an extra camera because we have one camera in Emma's room and this one will keep an eye on the babies if they nap in our room or whatever. So I just picked up like a separate camera because you can have multiple cameras. And then I forgot we needed these because we only have one anymore. Um, and I wanted them to match because I'm crazy. Um, but the two little mirrors, these ones aren't fancy. These are for the car. I think you can, how do you do it? You can turn a light on. So that's kind of nice. Um, if at night I want to like see them and I can't, if I can, okay, I got it. So we've got two of these for when we put them in the car, um, just to be able to keep an eye on them. Emma still has her own. And then this is another pack of swaddles. We only have like a couple. I don't know where Emma's are. I need to like look through our storage again. Um, but I wanted some more swaddles for when they're little. And these Velcro ones work when they're little for us. And then we moved to the Halo sleep sack, which we have a couple of those swaddles too. But I wanted some more because they get yucky really quick. And these are gender neutral. They're gray with um, like little diamonds. And then these ones are white and yellow with like foxes. So I've got some gender neutral swaddles. This is kind of weird, but we have Tommy Tippy bottles. We have some from Emma. We bought some new ones, um, but someone told me that these um, they're like the Nook First Essentials, which look like the like cheapo bottles. Someone recommended these to me for their twins. She said that they were the only ones that worked for them and they're so cheap. This pack comes with three for $3.99. So I figure it's nice to have like an extra type of bottle on hand in case they don't like the Tommy Tippy ones, especially something so affordable. And I'm just gonna have these as a backup in case they don't like those. And then if they do like these, I'll be happy because they're really, really cheap. Okay, and then a lot of you guys wanted us to get preemie clothes and I really don't think we're gonna need them. I know I could be wrong. Obviously I can be wrong with that, but um, I just, they're measuring big already. So I decided instead to get more loved baby because their newborn size is four to seven pounds, which is basically preemie. Um, so, they're like preemie slash newborn sizes. So I brought these and I think I'm gonna wash them and take these to the hospital too, just in case. They're like the little stone color and they're so tiny. They've got the little mitts so you can cuff their hands if they're scratching themselves. Um, I just need to wash them, but I got the matching little ones and they're so cute. And then last but not least, I don't remember if I showed this on here. Um, I showed it on Instagram, but we decided to go with the Snuggle Me Organics for the twins as baby loungers this time. And we've got two, obviously the other one is in the other room, but I love this. It's just like a dock -a -tot. Um, It's like a little lounger. Emma loved hers. We set her in it all the time when we had her at home as a newborn. So I think they're definitely worth the money. And this one is like a linen cover. It's really nice. So I got two of these for the twins as well. And honestly, that was like the last little bit of things that we really needed to get. So. I'm feeling pretty good right now. We're gonna obviously need more clothes and stuff if we have boys, but um, or even one boy, but we're good on girl stuff, I think, if we have girls. So we'll just wait and see when the babies are born. We don't have a ton of gender neutral stuff, but we have enough to get us through like the first couple of weeks. And now that I've shown everything, I'm gonna start washing, putting everything away. I'm gonna sneak this into the hospital bag, like I said. I think I'm gonna have Justin try and figure this out before the babies are born because it looks like a lot to figure out. But I'm gonna put all this stuff away and get it ready because we're gonna be here so soon. easier to get both of them on the monitors finally because I feel like they haven't moved in like two weeks they've been in like the same spot so they're pretty easy to find which is really good today I might be getting a steroid shot and then have to come back in 24 hours and get another one since the babies are probably going to be here sooner than like regular full term so we'll see I don't know I wasn't supposed to see a doctor today but now I might 
have to see one because if I do it on Friday instead, I would have to go to the hospital on Saturday to follow up, which I do not want to do. So hopefully I can get it today, even though I hurt not right, but they hurt. I don't think I got one with Emma. And if I get one today, then I'll get one tomorrow. I'll come back tomorrow for another one. Hopefully they pass today and do really, really good. Okay, so they decided not to do the steroid shot today. Um, I have an appointment with the specialist. It'll actually be my last specialist appointment because they're usually once a month um, on Thursday. And they want me to check with them first and see what they recommend as far as the steroid shot goes. And then if they do want me to get it, then I could go on Thursday. And then when I'm there for my NST on Friday, just get it on Friday, then it's one less visit to the office this week, which is a good idea, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna do that on Thursday. I'm just happy to be home. I'm gonna get in right now. I just have to like, I always have to change out of everything I wear out because I'm a little bit like stressed about it. So I always change in the garage, throw everything in the wash, and then I go inside and then I wash my hands and it's like a whole big, it's a whole big thing. Wow, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? That swimsuit's getting a little bit small on you, honey. I think it's time to upgrade. <laughs> you haven't worn one in like months. It's like tight. <laughs> it's a good day to play outside. It's so nice today. I'm so excited. Emma, I already worked out today. I don't want to run no more. Say please. please. Okay, how can I resist that? <laughs> she called me on me. <laughs> Daddy's girl, you get whatever you want, huh? Get <laughs> Do you guys see him? He's staring at all of us. He is so bitter. <laughs> Sorry, mister. Can I have a kiss? Give daddy a kiss. Oh. Give him another kiss. Have another kiss. One more kiss. Oh, you want to give mommy a kiss? Oh. <laughs> give daddy a kiss. This is a look, you guys, okay? It's a real good look. I wanted to show you guys what I just got in the mail today. Um, I've been doing a lot of projects with Emma and you guys have all been super interested. So I wanted to share with you what I ordered from Amazon because I'm actually really excited about it even though it's kind of lame. First things first, I ordered this X-Acto knife because I keep using Justin's box cutter to open or to cut like projects up and it's just not going well. And I'm gonna use this literally right now to open this box. So that's the first thing. In this box is literally like way too many, like more than I will ever need pipe cleaners. Like I think there's a thousand in here. So if you ever need pipe cleaners, I have like a million. They look like real thin though, which is really nice actually. What random other crap did I order? Okay, I got these for Emma. They're actually not meant for what I'm gonna use them for. They're like mini serving tongs. But um, I thought these would be great for her sensory table to teach her to squeeze harder and work on her finger muscle because you have to squeeze pretty hard, but um, some of them to like pick things up or whatever. This is a hundred wooden clothespins. I don't remember what I ordered these for. This is another really weird thing. It is a bag of, <laughs> what am I doing with my life sometimes? 
100 little zippers. And I know you're like, what the heck, Rochelle? Why did you order 100 little zippers if you don't sew? Um, I'm gonna make Emma something out of this, like a sensory board. Um, again, it's good for like fine motor. I just don't, they didn't have like enough, or they didn't have like a pack that had the colors I liked for less than 100, so I have 100. And then last but not least, excited about these because Emma saw me get them in the mail and then I had to hide them because she wanted them right away and I wasn't ready but they're little like peg people so I got how many are in here like 12 I think they're little wooden peg people I'm gonna do a little find the peg people project for her but these are so cute I'm gonna try and link everything down below for you guys if you guys are crazy like I am and just want to do projects with your kids these are really fun and some of these I'm gonna set up for when we're in the hospital that way whoever is watching her has things to keep her entertained and busy um, it'll probably be my mom and I want to make sure she has it as easy as she can for Emma and that Emma has stuff to do that's fun and distracting and keeping her happy while we're away I got this in the mail too I think like last week it's like a champagne but it's non-alcoholic <laughs> saying ready to pop for pregnant people so I kind of wanted to have this with Justin and I but he's doing like homework right now so I think we'll do this on our date night on Thursday I also went a little overboard and I made Emma's daily schedule up here so that um, when we need to go to the hospital the last second or whatever if we don't make it to our c-section date that her whole schedule is up on the fridge for whoever is watching her and they know exactly what she needs what time she naps when she usually eats everything so I'm like nesting for real like I cannot calm down I like I wanted to like bleach the sink today I scrubbed the bottom of these cabinets with a magic eraser I don't even know like it's not like normal nesting because it's stuff that like doesn't matter so I don't know what I'm thinking I think we're gonna set up the swing or the swings there's two two babies tomorrow and I'm gonna go edit this and go to bed so I love you guys and we'll talk to you again very soon. Good night.